previously used functions to analyse economic behaviour. When we looked at demand and supply, we saw that demand was a function of price, income, the number of buyers and so on. We'll now create a consumption function to help us better understand our behaviour as consumers. Consumption spending, C, is made up of two types of spending, what we call autonomous consumption and induced consumption. First, what is autonomous consumption? Well, the most useful definition for us is that autonomous means independent. Autonomous consumption refers to any consumption that's independent of our income. Well, what does that mean? Well, if you think about it, even if a household has no income, there'll still be some basic consumption. The family breadwinner may lose their job, and hence their income, but they still have to spend to survive. They'll have to consume some food, wear some clothing, find some shelter. They might live off their savings or loans, gifts or handouts or social programmes. Autonomous consumption can be regarded as that level of consumption that takes place even if income is zero. In our equation, autonomous consumption is indicated by C bar. Induced consumption is that part of consumption that does depend on income. As we've seen, an increase in income, Y, causes an increase in consumption spending, C. But the increase in consumption spending is less than the rise in income. This pattern, to increase our consumption spending by less than any rise in income, is shown by the letter small c. And we call this our marginal propensity to consume. This is an important part of our individual economic profile, our personality, and it plays a key role in the Keynesian model. The value of this marginal propensity is always less than 1, because consumption spending increases but by less than income. If the marginal propensity to consume is 0.9, it indicates that for every one rand increase in income, households will increase their spending by 90 cents. So, the consumption function states that consumption spending, C, is made up of autonomous consumption, C bar, plus induced consumption, which is our marginal propensity to consume, small c, multiplied by our income, Y.